In this video, we're going to be comparing Facebook ads to organic growth and talking about which one you should use in your business when, based on 15 years of experience as a content marketer, a sales coach, and a business owner who has used Facebook ads in her business. Hi, my name is Amanda Abeo. Welcome to Make Money Your Honey. On this channel, we talk sales, marketing systems, and mindset so you can simplify your business and amplify your life. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And speaking of Facebook ads versus organic growth, you're gonna have to know how to create content, write copy, and actually create things that get people's attention. And that takes some planning. So what I've done is I've created a free template that you can use in Notion. Notion is one of my favorite tools for brain dumping and organizing ideas, and it's, there's a free version. And I've created a template that you can use in Notion completely for free to help you organize your ideas and your content marketing. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can find the information on how to download it below. So let's get into this age old debate of Facebook ads versus organic growth. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of a spoiler alert here. And the spoiler alert is that Eventually you need to do both, but the problem that people run into is they don't know when to implement the paid advertising and that's what gets them into trouble. So oftentimes we'll talk to a lot of people who, for example, were just starting a business and they ended up spending a ton of money on Facebook ads to generate leads. Usually some agency promised them the whole world on generating leads, but then they ended up basically lighting $6,000 on fire. It's something that we hear all the time. And when I go and I ask and I'm like, okay, well, had you tested this stuff organically first? Usually the answer is no, uh, which leads to some very big problems because if you're going to put money behind traffic, you would want to know that that you would want to know that your systems and your processes and your content and your products can sell without you having to spend money before you actually go spend money. Now there is another side to this argument and the other side to the argument is you can start with very low amounts of money in paid advertising and then you can get the data that you need. The problem is that most people that we talk to don't even have a budget <laughs> to start the paid advertising to begin with or the people that we talk to that got into a lot of trouble um, just didn't have enough data to begin with and they may have had money but they didn't have enough money to do it for the long amount of time it would have taken for them to get the data and the results. And in addition to that, Facebook ads are a hell of a lot more expensive than they used to be. Long gone are the days where you can give Facebook ads some money and then you can just go sit on a beach and retire because it would just pop money <laughs> right back into your account. And there's lots of reasons for this. Uh, Facebook obviously is running into some issues financially. The last few years, there's been a lot more regulation. Uh, Apple, you know, a couple years ago did that epic change to their system where people can opt out of data tracking. So that, that, that's made it difficult for ads to be as effective as they used to be. So those are just some things to uh, consider. That being said, if you've already tested things organically, if you already know that you can generate leads for free, if you already know that your funnels are working, if you already know that your offer sells without you having to spend money selling it, then we can start looking more into paid advertising and do it with a lot more confidence knowing that the money that you're going to be investing is likely going to give you some sort of a return on investment or even if it doesn't you know how to go make money without having to pay for it <laughs> so you can go make it up if you have to so it's not to say that paid advertising is a bad idea paid advertising is a great idea it can help you target better uh, it can help you uh, get more are uh, ready to invest buyers, especially if you s use certain types of funnels like uh, passive income funnels or uh, self-liquidating offer funnels where people maybe pay $27 for a product. There's, then there's an upsell to a $37 product. Then maybe there's a 97. Well, they already paid you some money, so they're more likely to pay you again for one of your high ticket offers. So if you have the right strategy 
and you're doing it correctly and you're taking your cash flow into consideration and you've got enough data to back up your hunch that the paid ads are going to yield a return, then go for it because that's one of the ways that you are able to scale. But before then, you should probably focus a little bit more on organic. So for example, YouTube is one of my favorite organic lead generation strategies. It literally gets us leads every day and it's free. <laughs> All we had to learn how to do was how to do YouTube videos that were search engine optimized and were really valuable for the public and then create things that they would actually want to sign up for. And that's it. We've got free leads every single day without having to pay for it. Now, maybe we look into YouTube ads later. Uh, one of the things that we've been considering is retargeting ads. So now that we've really got the machine cranking and rolling, now we can kind of be there and be like, okay, maybe it's time to revisit paid ads again. So I hope that this was really helpful. I know that there's a lot of confusion out there about which one to use, when to use it. And the general rule of thumb is, and I happen to be more conservative when it comes to money, is I'm not going to put money behind something if I haven't already gotten market validation. I'm not going to put money behind something unless I've already proven that the thing works without me having to spend money on it. And I'm not going to put money behind something that I haven't tested. And the problem that a lot of people are running into is they're just jumping into Facebook ads too soon before they've tested anything. And then they get very frustrated when they don't get results and they've burned thousands of dollars. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope it gave you a bit more clarity on which one to use, which one to implement, which one's working for you now. Uh, if you have any other questions about this, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we have coming out on this channel and I'll catch you guys on the next one.